What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. It's Tori V. Fit here. I hope you have had the best Monday ever. We are going to do a mic up back workout. If you saw the title of this video, I did say hourglass figure. So to straighten that up because you know I speak facts, to get the hourglass shape that a lot of girls strive for, we want to build our upper body. Now when I say build, I'm not talking C-bum big. I'm just saying build some width. We work our shoulders and our lats and that is just going to give us a wider top of our frame and it makes our stomach look smaller. It gives the illusion. Um, same thing goes with the glutes and legs. Bigger the glutes and legs, the smaller your waist is gonna look. I am just so excited to talk to you guys in the gym about the form because I do love the educational side of fitness. That's why I became a personal trainer. So let's enjoy this back day. Remember to eat enough protein to build your hourglass figure and also be on top of your recovery. I have my last video on Thursday is my top five tips I wish I knew before I started lifting. If you guys wanna check that out, I will link it above. But let's just go ahead and get started with the workout. So if you want the hourglass figure, girls, hit upper body with me today. I'm gonna to be going over some form tips for you guys. We're gonna warm up on the TRX ropes right now. So, <laughs> if you have these at your gym, it's awesome to warm up the back. I am going to lean backwards and pull my body. So this is basically like a body weight row. The harder you want it to get, you can scoot down. The easier you want it to be, you can walk your feet up. This is a good spot for my feet. If I wanna make it a little harder, I can go even lower. And we're gonna do 15 reps to warm up our back. Squeezing those shoulder blades together. Relax the shoulders. Then to warm up kind of our rear delts, which is gonna be the top part of the back of your shoulder. I'm leaning back slightly because this one is a lot harder. And I'm pulling my body up like a giant YMCA. Nice, slow and controlled feeling pretty warmed up i also will take a band sometimes i could not find my band today and i do some pull aparts the trx room is looking in my way here we go this also feels nice on the back squeezing my shoulder blades together for back day we are starting on the smith machine for some barbell bent over rows the Smith machine is really nice because it's so smooth. Um, this one doesn't go all the way down to the floor, so that's why I have this box, because I'm short and I need full range of motion. So, my hands are even, we unrack the weight, and then I am going to bend over till this bar is mid-shin mid height, and my back is almost flat. My, hand, my palms are facing my body, and then I'm gonna tap the bar right under my chest and really focus on getting those elbows back behind your body. This is gonna help engage those lats. So we are squeezing the shoulder blades together, thinking about making those elbows poke over the back. This is warm up weight, so let's add another 10 on each side. So this will be our first working set. If this feels like a good weight for 10 to 12 for me. Okay, ready? Let's go. This is a good weight for me. Now it's starting to get pretty challenging, so I'm gonna stick with this weight for three more sets. Okay guys, now we are doing lat pull downs. So I have the straight bar on, I'll show you guys in a second. And I will also give you guys the back angle so you can see my shoulder blades squeezing together in the back, but I'm gonna grab this at shoulder width apart, so not as wide as the bar goes. Then my palms facing away from me. And your biggest focus here is just pulling those elbows down. Shoulder width apart, you can also adjust this thing on your knee 
so that you don't fly up as well. So I'm short, I have it on like the shortest setting. But here we go, we pull the lats down and then squeeze the shoulder blades together, lean back slightly. This bar should kind of tap the top of your chest. And think about pulling those elbows straight down. Planting my feet, grabbing the handles. These handles are kind of tied up weird, <laughs> but it'll work. So, I'm gonna let my lats reach forward without hunching over and bending my back. So we're reaching our lats forward, letting it pull, and then exactly like the other back movements, squeezing those shoulder blades together. I am leaning back a little bit at the back of the movement, but as you see, I'm not drastically using momentum or leaning forward a lot in this movement. So we just let our, let our lats reach our body forward and squeeze the shoulder blades, pulling those elbows back. This movement feels really good. I know this looks funky. We're gonna be doing bicep curls now. So we already did three back movements. Usually I do two to four back exercises. And I usually do pull-ups because that definitely works both my biceps and my back. But today we are ending with two bicep exercises. I'm using the 30 pound bar for barbell bicep curls that we are super setting with hammer curls with 20 pound dumbbells. So I'm keeping my elbows still and back. Now, we're doing hammer curls. Hammer curls are a little bit easier for me, so that's why we're doing it a little bit heavier. On the side. I'm absolutely destroyed. I made it home from my workout. I wanted to show you guys how I normally warm up my back with just one regular thin band real quick. If you have a thin band like this, in your gym or in your gym bag. What is nice to warm up the back if you don't have a TRX rope as well is just doing pull aparts like this or you can even pull it down, squeezing your lats together. <laughs> Bro, both of my neighbors have a Mustang. I will tell you what. <sighs> cool, bruh. I seriously hear that four times a day never gets old but anyways <laughs> dude people speed through my neighborhood like crazy like i'm so glad i don't have kids because <laughs> i would not let them play in their fucking driveway here okay anyways that is just the kind of warm-ups i like to do for upper body day now it is gonna be time for the secret code word if you guys don't know how the secret code word works you comment i see I call it back to you because I'm just thankful you watched my whole video just to see the secret code word. I love that. So today's secret code word is going to be lats because we are trying to build them lats, baby, to help give us that hourglass mid-year. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I'm going to put my username up here because I'm usually more active on Instagram. I love posting stories every single day and I post one to two workouts a week on there. Also, uh, today's Monday. I always do a QA and a on Mondays on my Instagram story. So check that out and ask me questions if you have any. That is going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys love the mic'd up workouts. Um, comment if you did like it and I will do more of them in the future. But I hope you guys have an amazing start to your week. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. I will see you on Thursday.